everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Megan. Thanks so much for watching. And today I'm gonna to be giving you guys my week 13 and 14 pregnancy update. And before I get into all that, I'm so sorry that I missed Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of Vlogmas, but last week was a little bit crazy. I was doing my first full week at the new office that I'm at, which is a 45 minute drive now instead of a 15 minute drive, unfortunately. And my husband was also out of town, so it was just a little bit hectic. But I am going to get back on track for you guys for this week. So um, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And also go follow me over on Instagram. So in week 13, according to the Bump app, baby was a size of 11 and about 2.91 inches long and about 0.81 ounces. And then in week 14, baby was as big as a peach and almost doubled in weight to 1.5 ounces and the length to 3.39 inches. So that to me is a pretty significant weight gain. Um, and of course this is just an estimate from Bump, but it's kind of cool to think like baby is steadily growing so much. Um, the major differences that I felt in week 13 was that I didn't have to take Zofrin as much. I think I only took it once or twice. And then in week 14, I didn't take Zofrin at all, which was such a blessing. And because of that, my digestive tract has been getting back on a regular schedule instead of being like one extreme or the other. So I'm very, very happy that that has kind of like strained itself out. The other thing that I noticed is I'm like a hungry, hungry hippo now, which I know like I'm supposed to be eating, but it's a big difference going from like feeling so horrible that you don't want to eat anything to now I just like can't stop eating. So the other thing that kind of happened in week 14 is I started having more round ligament pain pretty consistently to where it was just kind of uncomfortable. Um, but other than that, I'm feeling pretty good. I feel like my energy is getting back up and I'm not having to sleep as much or I'm not as tired when I wake up in the mornings. I'm not having to take a nap. Um, ooh, speaking of energy and all of that, my thyroid doctor actually upped my medication to 2.5 grains. I was taking two grain and my thyroid levels when she had them checked, they were actually pretty decent. My TSH I think was around one. Um, but typically if you are on thyroid meds, like the optimal level for TSH is supposed to be less than one. Um, just because you are taking in the thyroid hormone and your body is not having to stimulate itself to make more. So realistically it should be less, but she said because baby is there, we do have to play with it a little bit and make sure that we don't cross the line into hyperthyroidism. But she said because I was feeling like really tired around two or three in the afternoon, that that meant that I was showing signs of hypothyroidism. So that's why she kind of upped my dose. And ideally she wanted me to just take that extra half of a grain at lunchtime, but I'm such a baby and I cannot take pills, even if they're teeny tiny without applesauce. I've just been taking everything in the morning and that seems to be working for me. I don't get that like sluggishness at two or three o'clock in the afternoon that often anymore. So everything is looking good there. And I meet with her again in I think like early to mid January to one, get my blood work done again and two, I just have to call and go over that blood work results with her and make sure that we don't need to adjust my medication anymore. She said that in pregnancy, you can require like 30% more thyroid hormone. So she just wants to make sure that we are keeping it in a good range for me and for baby since baby is kind of 
using those hormones too in order to grow and be healthy and all that. So <laughs> let's go ahead and look at the bump. So it is just a little bump at this point, but I can definitely tell a difference that it's getting bigger and bigger and that's just so exciting. So that is it for this update guys. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads and also follow me over on Instagram and I will see you in the next video. Bye.